packet will enter inside the sp3 or you can say the content thread detection engine where we will do the deep inspection right now again this sp3 or ctd will make use of the pattern matching algorithms as well as hardware level chips be it uh, aho i mean your ocelot jaguar or uh, at software level aho dfa if it is prior to pan os 9 later on it is p scan right so they will try to do the pattern matching for your content and thread detections right your content id will be uh, evaluated your thread id will be uh, checked right so your signatures will be verified now again this http get packet is not having any actual uh, file data it is just the protocol right so it must not be having any content signatures or thread signatures right because once you are getting the http response from the server that response might be having the file okay so after processing this ctd it will check for application shift so initially you were using facebook is there any shift from your application so if you switch to facebook chat you should be able to detect that and you should have granular rules in your security profile policy to block the facebook chat instead blocking your entire server now what i mean by this so it should be like this in legacy firewall we used to create blocks based on ip addresses let's say facebook ip address is 4.4.4 so if this would have been asa firewall what would i have what uh, uh, you know what i have done i have created a rule to block the connection with this particular destination ip okay since this is the next generation firewall it has the feature to not block the public ip you can get more granular control of your destination application because these days we have you know very advanced applications in the market so instead of blocking the public ip either you can block the application based on the domain name let's say i'll create the url custom url rule let's block facebook.com or i'll create the rule that let's block social networking categories so whichever website will fall under this url category their access will be blocked but still your organization says that i don't want to block facebook.com completely what i want is i should be blocking only facebook chat i should be blocking only facebook games i mean user should be able to log in into the facebook but they should not be able to post anything they should not be able to uh, chat with anyone when they are connecting to my corporate network right so in that point of time what we can do is we can uh, get the we can create the security rules with uh, granular applications like facebook chat facebook post linkedin post whatever you have inside your uh, applipedia accordingly you can create the security rules now question arises if initially you have identified the application as facebook base right so how you will come to know whether there is a application shift that now user is using facebook chat right so for that we have these decoders inside the ctd engine which are going to detect the application shift so these decoders they keep on monitoring your sessions and the moment they detect that there is a application shift for this connection right away they will send the packet back to the pattern matching inside the app id to re identify the application 
and it will land up here that this application is Facebook chat. Kindly reevaluate the security rule whether we are blocking the Facebook chat. Yes or no. If yes, then your packets will be discarded. OK. If there is no application shift, then it will check whether any threat detected. So these are, you know, HTTP get packet. I mean, uh, what threat is going to have, right? So at this point of time, it will be like, no, no, no. And it will be processed and it will go out, right? But if this would have been the response where we are getting the actual data from the server, then we might do the inspection, deep level inspection, your uh, respective security profiles, your AV antivirus, anti-malware, anti-spyware, URL filtering, whatever you have applied on that particular security rule will start processing it. And if any threat is detected, right, we will apply the security profile action. So if you have one particular rule for your internet access, which says if my LAN user is coming and going to internet, Let's allow the connection. But you have also called your security profiles on this particular security rule. Now, these security profiles are ensuring that whenever there is any malicious activity on this connection, which is prohibited inside these profiles, this connection, this rule whose action is allowed, right? So we need to have a dynamic mechanism to discard the packets. So if my security profile, let's say URL filtering has detected that connect user is trying to go to social networking website. We should block it, right? And this rule says connection is allowed. So I need to block this connection. So now comes your session state. And this is what I was saying, you know, session state. If your session is in active state, it doesn't mean it will remain in active state. It can change to discard as well if any threat has been detected. So your firewall will change the session state from active to discard and your packet will be dropped. And what we are going to do, we are going to send the whatever action you have defined. I mean, let's say you have defined uh, in your profile that it should drop, reset client, reset server, reset both. Accordingly, the packet will be discarded. And if your action has been, uh, uh, you know, configured as alert or allow, then you will just get the uh, notification in your logs and packet will connection will be allowed. Yeah, Jay. Yeah, so in that case, if, uh, that action is block or uh, reset. So can this session be used by other why other person means kind of like uh, suppose we have same source and destination means if you discard a session then other session means the other rule it won't check any other rule or it will just uh, simply to my understanding is like uh, we create one session and that session with, is being used by other users as well or other <laughs> say other rules no, no. or for source destinations no 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 so your understanding is totally wrong yesterday i told you this thing that whenever any user visits any particular website they make multiple connections with that particular website, TCP connections. Each connection represents to a session. Inside a firewall. Okay, so it is not uh, it is not the case if user is visiting the Facebook and uh, the user has initiated five TCP connections. All of them are malicious connections. It might be possible that when when user was trying to access Facebook, and when Facebook server was loading the complete website, Facebook itself was capturing the information from five to six different websites. There are multiple services which runs in the background. I'll give you an example of this. When you visit NG CloudX, I get to know everything about my users. From where they are coming, 
which device they are using how many sessions you have logged in in which particular device you have logged in right who is providing me this information google is sharing this information with me because i am the owner of this website and i need to ensure that any malicious activity any uh, suspicious activity should be blocked because this is my infrastructure i cannot afford to put down this you know uh, i cannot afford the downtime of this website so when you load ng cloudx multiple websites or multiple scripts getting load in in addition to this website so when you making connections will all with all those websites because you must have received the http redirects as well right so it not be the case that all the connections are malicious might be one or few tcp connections are malicious so a firewall will uh, you know change the state of that particular connection from active to discard and uh, reset the connection of that particular session so it is not even that one connection belongs to one user one user can have multiple connections and they can three rules have same session id which rules a different yes, different session id these roles, connections will have see rules are not having this session cj first to understand this thing rules are not giving you the session id okay you have initiated a connection and you are getting allocated a session id okay dynamically based on your six tuples right rules but are there, there to allow your that, connection uh, yeah but there can be rules that have that share these six tuples uh, so can they have same session id or it is not even possible why okay i'll i'll tell you why let's say we have this particular server and the public ip address of this server is this which is any which way is nated to a private ip and let's say private ip is this now within this server i can have multiple services up and running i can have web server running on port 80 i can have uh, ftp server i can have ssh server i can have uh, uh, smtp mail server right multiple services are running dns now if you being a user if you are hitting on destination port 80 you will be connected to the web server which is running inside this physical server if you are hitting the ftp then you will be connected to the ftp server which is running inside this server right so whenever you are initiating the connection from your machine from your laptop or desktop your source port is also getting changed for each tcp connection your source port will be different so it could not be the case that a connection is getting the same session id do you have any option inside your palo alto firewall or any firewall to define the session id inside the rule because this is the dynamic no. allocation okay so state changes like uh, active session then discard and uh, dynamically it it always happens like whenever the will, traffic I comes will, it i will cover that session states okay, as okay. well tomorrow right okay. i know this is confusing i'll tell you one thing guys uh, you know say intact we used to have session for like 24 hours to 32 hours only on packet flow only on packet flow but in open market you will see that 15 hours advanced course stack advanced course by hemu sir <laughs> 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 so
so this is the difference right don't worry this time i have i'll ensure that uh, you will understand each and every packet of a connection and with the help of the logs as well you will see how this is actually being processed by the palo alto fire okay so so far we have just seen tcp processing since in a acknowledgement now we are seek, we are uh, you know verifying the http processing http packet processing right e upcoming lectures we will see ssl packet processing and then i'll show you both the cpu dumps of your normal packet at port 80 connections port 443 connections how they are getting processed by the cpu of palo alto firewalls okay so any other doubt anyone i can see multiple hands yeah rohan um, yeah like application that, shift okay. yeah that's what i'm coming to so rohan you said uh, um, after let's say the user is allowed to access facebook.com base site but when they when he tries to access the um, facebook chat then that should get blocked now let's say the user is into the site for 10 minutes now and that means the session is completely established firewall is already seeing the traffic going in through through that now if, when he is changing to uh, facebook chat how does the firewall understand this is a shift and how does it bring back the flow back to the the content threat detection here uh, how does it see, get for, back to that state again see first of all to detect the application shift you need to ensure that your traffic is not encrypted just to get the granular control you need to ensure that uh, you know you are decrypting the traffic because at present 85% of websites are running on ssl mm -hmm. only 15% of internet traffic is uh, up on port 80 all the illegal services where uh, you 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 know you uh, you cannot share the uh, Jitendra, your camera is on. Please turn it off. So, where you cannot, uh, you know, take the risk of owning the SSL certificate, only those websites are running on uh, port 80, right? Because SSL certificate is giving your identity, who you are. Okay. So now coming to your question, when connection was stale, let's say user visited the Facebook.com and then started doing his work. that facebook is open up in the browser and user is checking the outlook mails and uh, you know talking on teams or any other application he is not active on facebook and after 10 minutes he directly jumps on the facebook and he open up the chat right and then yeah. he'll start chatting okay mm -hmm. so i'll i'll tell you now what happens when you create these granular rules in the firewall that my facebook chat should not work my facebook games should not work so when user will log in into the facebook these services will be showing you an error your facebook chat will show you an error that you are offline in red color mm. you won't be able to see any game related pop-ups any game related uh, feature available on facebook see this is what i told you how websites are working so when you load a particular website you don't host everything on a single application server so facebook is having a face like this just try to understand this hmm. i'll give you an example with uh, ng cloudex only so ng cloudex is having a face face website which is your ng cloudex dot in this is the first user interface or if you visit international website then it is ng cloudex dot com so your these are the okay. uh, yeah these are the first user interfaces which is coming up in front of you right and from there if you want to access any particular course if you want to do video streaming and all that stuff do you think that my video streaming server is also hosted on the same server Not or really. my database server you know uh, which is maintaining your credential details will be hosted on the same server 
or my mm-hmm. transaction record server because you're making real time transactions on my website do you think all these things are hosted on a single server only no so in this similar fashion when you load facebook.com facebook is just the front page in the background it will try to load multiple services which is available for the users now when you enable the granular inspection you can block the connection with these services because these are third party services i don't want my users to fall in a trap okay so in the similar fashion in my firewall i can do one thing that users can visit ngcloudx.com but they won't be able to play any video they won't be able to uh, get redirected to any video another example cisco.com you can directly block or block rohan are you sharing your screen uh, rohan your screen yes. is not visible it is visible it is visible visible so i have to see so you can you can block the cisco.com it will block the entire cisco infrastructure it means there are multiple websites in cisco support.cisco.com it will be blocked right if you block the complete main domain then uh now software.cisco.com everything will be blocked or if you want to block a particular website or a subdomain then you need to create the rule as per the subdomain so these are the regex we call them regex so yeah. earlier this was really difficult to create regex in asa firewalls because i have worked in the cisco tech i know how difficult is it was to create the regex based uh, uh, deny rules in asa that to on cli right so this uh, web gui has given you the liberty to define your rules in a proper way and you get the more granular control what you should allow what you should block and who decides these things your cio chief information officer his job is to ensure that we are fully compliant to the industry standards if you are from the bfsi segment so this standard is applicable on you so you need to be fully compliant to this standard if you are not compliant your you can face the legal complications right so these cios infrastructure heads it heads they are going to decide all these things what should be allowed for the users and what should be blocked for the users okay i hope i'm able to answer your query yeah okay any anyone else ah uh, no no सर वो एप्लीकेशन के बारे में पूछना था एक मुझे एप्लीकेशन हमारी मैच होती है आ, कि जैसे मान लीजिए मैं यूट्यूब चला रहा हूँ तो वो एसएसएल एस होगा मतलब एसएसएल उसे मानेगी फायरवॉल या यूट्यूब डिटेक्ट करेगी मतलब क्या डिटेक्ट होगा एप्लीकेशन अभी आपके साथ प्रॉब्लम क्या हो रहा है आप ना एक दो स्टेप आगे की चीजें पूछ लेते हो मेरे से जो मेरे को कवर करना है ओके ओके सर सर एक आपने कवर किया ओके सर सर इसे बाद में देख लेंगे सर एक और चीज पूछना है जो भी जय ने पूछा था वो सेशन के बारे में सेशन और कनेक्शन में कोई डिफरेंस होता है क्या सर पूछ रहा हूं आपसे देखो यार इट्स अ टर्म ठीक है एएसए में कनेक्शन टेबल बोल देते हैं कॉल ऑल्टो में सेशन टेबल बोल देते हैं Z-scaler में कनेक्शन आईडी बोल देते हैं राइट बिकॉज ऑल दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज आर स्टेटफुल दे आर मेंटेनिंग अ लेजर कि कौन आया कौन गया सबका हिसाब किताब है मेरे पास सो yeah. so, उस उस वे में इसको समझो तो अगर हम किसी वेबसाइट से सर मल्टीपल टीसीपी हैंडसेक करते हैं आपने जैसे बोला मल्टीपल होते हैं तो वो सब एक सेशन में बनते हैं अलग 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 सेशन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सेशन वो कंप्लीट डिफरेंट एक स्ट्रीम है ना टीसीपी की वो डिफरेंट कनेक्शन है पूरा उसका सोर्स पोर्ट अलग होगा ओके सेम सोर्स पोर्ट पे नहीं बनाएगा ना वो कनेक्शन डिफरेंट भी हो सकता है 
अब मैं एक चीज दिखाता हूँ तुम्हें यार सी द प्रॉब्लम विद यू गाइज इज यू डोंट डू लैब रिक्रिएट्स एंड लैब रिक्रिएट्स यू नीड यू नीड नॉट टू हैव अ गुड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर यू जस्ट नीड योर लैपटॉप योर वाई फाई राउटर यूर गुड इंस्टॉल वायर शार्क एंड डू द लैब रिक्रिएट्स नाउ इफ आई विल ओपन अप दिस सी एम डी एंड इफ आई विल इनिशिएट द कॉन्टिन्यूस पिंग फ्रॉम हेयर so you will see that this is part of the single connection whatever uh, i mean although this is uh, uh, icmp is not a connection oriented protocol just for a reference i am telling you that uh, think just take an assumption that this is a connection oriented protocol so when you have open up the cmd and when you are doing something this is part of this particular service you know the source port will remain same but if you will open up another instance of this cmd right let's say if i will open up another instance and if i will again initiate the same destination ip your service ports will change destination port will remain same source port will change although this is icmp protocol ab ye judge mat karne lagna ki sir kya bata rahe hain icmp mein hame <laughs> i'm just giving you an example right so what happens when in your browser right when you keep on opening these tabs and you're uh, visiting different different websites first of all you are making different connections although the application is same web browser is same but what you are doing you are opening different different tabs new new websites in new tab and when you are visiting a particular website it is also redirecting you to a different different services so you are making new connections so as part of the activity what you can do is just take your laptop connect it to your home router turn on the wireshark captures on your lan adapter or wifi adapter open up your home router web page open up the web page in first tab then same page in second tab or in incognito mode and then tell me the difference aapke sare doubts clear ho jayenge okay okay sir to uh, sir ek uh, sir ye puchna hai ki fir matlab uh, ek connection mein multiple session bhi ho sakte hain ek connection ke andar multiple session bhi ban sakte hain ya ek session ke andar connections multiple honge thoda doubt hai usme सेशन एंड कनेक्शन एक ही चीज है ना तो उसको आप अलग अलग चीजें क्यों बना रहे हो कि एक सेशन में मल्टीपल सेशन एक सेशन में मल्टीपल कनेक्शन कनेक्शन और सेशन एक ही चीज है अब मैं उसको कनेक्शन बोलू सेशन बोलू एक ही चीज है वो ओके सर ओके सिस्को में हम उसको कनेक्शन टेबल बोल देते हैं पोलो ऑल्टो में हम उसको सेशन टेबल बोल देते हैं ओके सर ओके सो देर इज अ नीड to work upon your basics so i would highly recommend that uh, please do this exercise take the varsha captures on your laptop right and you will see these things whatever i am speaking because i'm not speaking something uh, vague here or something from the documented information i'm speaking what i have experienced in my tenure right so you will see all these things okay now uh, after checking for the threat if no threat has been detected uh action will be i mean no threat detected directly we'll check uh whether ssl decryption was there yes yeah, sandeep okay so uh whether as sir you have mm -hmm. uh sir what you said can you please just repeat means uh, i need to log in on the that router login page in two different modes and want to take the capture yeah you need to take the wireshark capture on your interface on router means on which uh, router on, i have on, connected on laptop home router okay. home router you connect to your wifi router right at home yes and uh, i'm logging on uh, gateway interface 192.168.1.1 yeah, yes 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 that is a website which you get from your router okay through which you can log in and you can configure your home router that is a website 
Okay. So when you apply the packet captures on your interface, you will see. Let me do that. Yeah. Let me do it right away. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I have done it, but uh, I don't know, sir, why you said that because what different I will going to see. Uh, I have done so, uh, on that. You can see I have multiple interfaces, you know, right here. So I will apply the capture on this interface because this is the IP address. Uh, you can see the IP address which belongs to my subnet. I'll apply the packet captures here and at present, uh, you know, you might see multiple packets. I'm getting an error. So at present, uh, I might see a lot of packets because this Teams session is also going on. So where is that reference? I need to disable the promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode where it is. Preference edit can the focus. No, no, no. Preferences may file like you know. Promiscuous mode, we need to disable it. I'll check the setting because multi uh, okay. I'm connected to my cloud. I'm connected to VPN. It will not allow me to take the captures. <laughs> so this is the setting you can see, you know, the granular level of control I have on my machines. So in my cloud infrastructure, I have done this configuration. If anybody is connecting to my cloud, then they won't be able to take the captures. So first I need disconnect to my cloud. Then only I will be able to connect to my I mean, I will be able to take the uh, packet captures, okay? Because you can see this Eve server is my cloud server, okay? I'll I'll show you this, right? I'll show you this particular activity. So, what you are trying, uh, what you are saying, Sandeep, that you are not able to see any difference in the packet captures? Uh no, actually, uh, actually, sir, like uh, when we are taking the packet capture, so whatever the browsing we have done in the browser like uh, any website so that will going to sh show in the wireshark ca packet capture so you like need to TCP. apply the yeah. you need to apply the filter of the ip address of your gateway ip then only you will see the gateway ip stream okay, i will cover I these things don't worry you know wireshark uh, force is there in this freedom bundle so whosoever has purchased our bundle they will see all these things i'll cover these things in wireshark training Okay. Uh, uh, sir, एक, hmm. sir, एक hmm. sir, I was asking you to do a video 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 to do a yeah, if you will see my uh, courses, most of the time I have used Wireshark. A uh, TCP IP ki free tag training available. Hai. Uh, I'll show you YouTube. Pe. If you go to YouTube, uh -huh. there, if you will visit uh, Energy Cloudex, you know. Uh, ch -ch -ch. So, here, if you go to playlist, you can watch this particular bootcamp view full playlist here uh, all these things are already covered everything has been covered here fragmentation wireshark okay. mein khol ke dikhaya hua hai ssl handshake ip header ye sab covered hai yaar already okay. yahi sab cheeze you know whatever we are discussing ki apne home router ko connect karo or yeah. validate karo ye sab yahan pe covered hai ek ek cheez is that is that english or hindi yeah yeah is it english it is english Oh, thanks. Okay, so multiple students they face problem when they visit our channel. They don't know which video to play because they directly go to video section, and there you will see mm -hmm. the latest ones. That's why we create these playlists, right? If you want to see the Fortigate uh, demo videos, you can check this. 
if you want to see sumit sir's uh, complete network and security foundation training so you can click here and you will see all the playlist all the videos they will run in the sequence right same story goes here any other a freedom course demo videos and uh, if you will see ipsec boot camp pol alto boot camp tag foundation network Auto automation ethical hacking prisma access pol alto advanced c scaler Pri prisma access ka bhi down rakha sir sab kuch hai yaar <laughs> abhi hamari website aur hamari application ko dhang se ek bar explore kar lo <laughs> ji okay so we'll see all the things nahi theek hai whatever is fridge mein access ki expectation nahi thi isliye pucha <laughs> okay so after this uh, applying the profile action we check for ssl proxy so since our packet is uh, uh, non ssl packet right we have we are we are making connection on port 80 so there is no need of this particular uh, uh, check right so we will not uh, any uh you know apply the uh, re encryption of the packet and all that stuff because see when you enable decryption on the firewall so if you are opening up anything you need to close it back before sending it out from the firewall so you need to ensure that right so we will explore this option when we will talk about the ssl packets now after this it will enter into your egress stage and egress stage we have already discussed so now if i will go back and if you if i will summarize the packet flow of http get request so here basically what we are trying to explain we are trying to trace a packet you know a particular connection packet by packet on a firewall first we have seen sin processing then we have seen sin plus acknowledgement then we have seen acknowledgement and the fourth packet is http get because we are connecting on port 80 if this connection was on port 443 then instead of get you must have seen the ssl handshake first and after ssl handshake this http get gets encrypted and when you take the packet captures in wireshark you will see application data the information return on this packet will be application data you will not come to know what is there inside this but if you visit any port 80 website and if you take the captures you will directly see the http get request http response coming from the server okay so what we have done how my firewall has processed the get packet so get packet has first entered inside the ingress stage then we have done the flow lookup and let's say the session id which was allocated to this particular session was 101 so we have identified that this packet belongs to this session id so from here it will directly go to fast path then in fast path there was a check to identify the application so since this packet was having the data so <clears throat> we will send this packet to app id to identify the application then if deep inspection is enabled on this particular security rule which is allowing this particular packet flow then session will be flagged for deep inspection and it will go to ctd or sp3 module after deep inspection it will go to the egress stage so in cisco checkpoint or any other firewall you will see that it takes at least 15 to 20 packets to correctly identify the application on the other hand on palo alto palo alto will take hardly 4 to 5 packets to currently identify the application okay we will explore more details in upcoming lectures so if you have any doubt just let me know tomorrow we will cover ssl how ssl will be processed as per this flow then we will have a look on the debugs 
right the cpu dumps we will see how it is actually processed at chip level and i'll also show you the wireshark captures so if you have any doubt anything just let me know i'm open for doubts now yeah rohan uh, how is 